Alright, 9 a.m. Time to get this party started. I'm gonna start by uh, sanding the clear coat stuff. I'll show you in a second, but um, I think this is gonna work great. I'm not seeing any of the major bumps down there. It looks pretty smooth all the way across, which I'm extremely happy for. I put a lot of primer. <laughs> two cans of white, two cans of gray. Came out pretty good. A little spatter at the end there just for the fun of it. Um, I was trying something, I nicked the front of it and I was just sitting here going da, 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 and it would spray a little bit and then it would dry it with its own air and then, I, da, da, and then it would spray a little bit and it would dry it with its own air. It was interesting. It was a single experiment. It doesn't look very appealing but yeah so that's all primed, ready to go. Um, I wish I could finish these off today, I won't be able to because I need to paint it. So I'm gonna have to reinstall the hood attachment because as of right now, it just up and down she goes. So I have just two bolts, just put that back on and I'll be able to lock it down again, drive around without worrying about it flying up on me. But as for right now, this morning, I'm all set up, I got my little section here. I sat here with a heat gun last night and went over and brought the bubbles up. It looks super shiny compared to the last time I did it. But I'm gonna uh, wet sand it. Not too shabby of a job. You can see the reflection pretty darn good. Uh, I'm gonna wet sand it real quick. Wash it off real good. And get another one and I'm gonna heat gun it right away. I'll show you what it looks like after it's been sanded. Alright, so I just got done uh, hitting these up. After sanding them down, wet sanding them this morning, letting them dry, went back, checked out a couple of spots, re-wet sanded a couple of spots that I wanted to. And then, um, yeah, hit it up with more clear coat. And then I just... Uh, as soon as I finished one, put a whole can on one, and then immediately grabbed the heat gun and started going to town on it and brought up a lot of air bubbles, which I'm really glad because I'll be able to sand those off. But I think the heat gun definitely brings out a lot more of the shine. It's not too bad for some uh, rust oleum and can of rust-oleum and a can of clear coat. A little bit of elbow wax. Yeah, those look pretty darn good. Not too bad. Started doing that guy, finished, or quit, took a break because I wanted to work on this clear coat stuff, but I was right in direct sunlight, so I was sweating pretty good. I'm gonna go back to that project. I think I'm gonna put these guys somewhere breathable, not inside. I'm going to keep them outside, but I think I'm going to take the hood off and uh, clean it off and throw a coat of paint on there and see what it looks like. So that's where I'll head to next. Alright, so I got the hood. Got it all sanded down. Just uh, wash it off. Got the fenders over there. Uh, about to throw the hood up here and start painting it and throw on a layer. I only have the one can right now, so which is fine, I just want to put like a base layer on it. Yeah, and then get it back on the car. As for right now, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna take a quick break and see where that leads me. All right, so I'm running out of paint and clear coat. So what I did is uh, I just painted the corners where I want to get them I'm gonna put a clear coat on, sand it, another clear coat, sand it, and that way I'll be able to install the hood pins finally this afternoon. I wanna get it all done, one big shebang if I can. It's all dependent on the clear coat, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I got those on there. There's two coats sanded down, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna clear coat it now. All right, clear coat is on. Um, I haven't hit it up with the heat gun yet. Put a whole can on. I'm planning on doing another can on the back corners. I, even though I got those pretty good, I only put like a 
half a can or a quarter of a can on the back and then whatever was left I split between the front half of each one of these just make sure you got an extra thick on there because I'm running out I want to put this on uh, so there's that and I'm gonna heat it up with the heat gun and we'll see what it looks like I'll try and come back this exact spot so you should be able to see here pretty good where I've heated the enamel on this side but not that one trying to get some different shots here different angles of sunlight it's hard to see See, there's definitely a difference. Check it out. They're in there. Got it on. They're good. You can imagine. You can picture it. You can see it, right? Get those guys. Get these guys. Mm, looking so shiny. Still gotta sand that down. Can't wait to sand it and polish it. Get that quadruple zero steel wool. Yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. I think it's looking good. I think it's looking real good. Now I'm just gonna cut out some uh, black trim for that. The stuff that I have might be too, too thick, we'll see. But yeah, locked. Unlocked. Now I gotta figure it out. All right, so now I know the key guard is down terrible at this. I don't get USBs right either. There we go. Unlock. Unlocked. You can barely even tell they're in there. I had to trim the inside of that one a little bit. So I was tired of moving that around so once I got it tight I just, <laughs> you know, fuck it. But that one goes down in there. This one rubs a bit. But one or the other is gonna give. I'll figure it out later. For now, fuck it. It closes. I'm so happy. That's been like a long time. I've been looking at those for years. And I actually wanted to get the upper flush, but I could get these on Prime in like three days. And I figured I was cutting the hood and painting it, so I might as well. Shit. All right. Well, there it is. Those bad boys are on there. Now that I got those on there. I can put the fenders on. All I gotta do is hit them with a little sandpaper. Yeah, it's gonna be so nice. This looks so great. It looks so good. I think so. A lot of little bumbles and wrinkles, but those are from the heat gun. I'm thinking it helped. Definitely thinking it helped and not hindered. Just look at that. Dang. It's not even like sanded or polished, that's just rough. It's rough. How rough that is. Rough. Okay, so yeah. Alright, well there we go. I think that's gonna about do it for this video for a day. Because all I'm gonna do now is just try and cut that out if it's not too thick. The stuff that I have for it is only. I got that down. Some shit I picked up at O'Reilly's. This stuff. I'm not sure if that'll be too thick. It's pretty thin. I'm gonna be cutting it at like 45 degree angles and whatnot. But, I mean, we'll have to see, I guess. It's got glue on the inside, so as soon as you push them, it's like a heat it. I think that's uh, 18 feet I got there. It was like three strips, six feet for like 10 bucks. Yeah that so I'm gonna try that out see how that goes all right so finishing up this super long video what I did was I just added a little bit of trim on the top one so I was trying to do the bottom one so it was getting too hard uh, too hard to cut the angles I was trimming them too thin did like three or four of them I just realized I was just wasting it so I stopped doing it 
cutting that out, I put in the uh, mesh underneath there. I painted it and blow dried it real quick. You can see I just kind of shoved it in there. It's only painted on one side. It's pretty firm in there. Um, I dry fit, just kind of, well, not dry because it's wet, but I put in the new spray nozzle windshield wipers and put new hosing in up to there. I'll replace it down to there later, but for now, it's good enough. I'm gonna lock up these hoods and try this sprayer out real quick and see if... Oh, it's so nice and quiet in here. See if it works, see if they work good. Those don't work for shit. <laughs> That's not worked at all. They're fucking terrible. All right, well, that was like five bucks. Or six bucks or whatever, I'll never get back. Look at that. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Those are 100% pointless. 100% pointless. <laughs> That's what kind they are. That's what those do. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I have to put the other ones in there. Maybe I'll steal these guys. Uh, the ones I have in my old one are whatever. I don't want to make this video too long, but I have some ones that are brand new in those ones. Yeah. All right, well, that's the end of that video. Basically, you got me doing that. The hood. That's enough for one day. Uh, it's shower time.